Hello and welcome back to my channel. So, what beautiful weather we've had in the UK this week. So it's meant I've been able to get quite a lot done outside and get the van fixed. So, um, my brother came to help me this week. So we got quite a bit done and we got the garden tidied up. So let me just show you what we've done. So I have quite a big garden. So I've done some of the weeding to get that tidied up and tidied up the lawn bit. So I just need to wash these cushions on the sofa now. And then we cleared up all around the back. And right at the back, I had tons of plant pots that I didn't use anymore. Look, that needs to go in the skiff. Um, what was stuff there? And now they're all here and uh, on Facebook Marketplace. Some of them have gone already, but very happy with that because that means one job less to do. And there's still so many jobs to do. Being busy packing up boxes, emptying cupboards, trying to sell stuff. Um, Seems to spend a lot of time on Vinted. Um, but we are getting there. So I'm going to go and show you now how I'm getting on with my packing. Oh, I have to say, it's really exhausting. It's been a very tiring week for this week because we have, but we have got a, a lot done. So I've got most of my boxes packed up now of the things I want to keep in storage and they're all wrapped up and then I've been wrapping them with I think they call it pallet wrap um, and mm, let me get a bit of tape to get it started otherwise you, otherwise you can't hold it still but what I'm doing is all the boxes I'm keeping and I'm not sure where they're going yet for storage, but I've been wrapping them with this pallet thing filled because I don't know if it helps keep them clean and watertight, but I'll tell you what, this wrapping boxes is extremely therapeutic. And haven't mind doing this at all. It's something you can do while you're watching the TV or something. Just keep it tight and just keep going round and round. And the only thing you have to do is remember which is the top of the box. So every time I go round the top, I put a sticker on it so I can't forget because quite a few times <coughs> I've gone all the way round and forgotten which is the top of the box. I don't really want them stored upside down. Anyway, so this is very therapeutic, very therapeutic. And then, so what I've done is I've stored them all here in one place because it's getting very confusing. And I'm also using the boxes as shelving because I'm trying to clear cupboards. Now we have one cleared, but then I ended up filling it with stuff. <laughs> but we're getting there. So you will remember that my van had the blue covering on it. And because it was nice and warm and sunny this week, we've been able to take that off and fix the roof. Oh, and that took some time. So what the problem was that whoever fitted this skylight here did not screw it down properly. <clears throat> so what we did was took it all off, um, took all the old sealant off, which was what they were using to hold it down. And then we fitted a frame on the inside to screw it into the van and then resealed it all. So hopefully it'll be watertight now and we'll find out when it rains. So everything is back on in the van. Um, solar panels all working and everything. So now all I've got to do is I've given it a bit of a clean and now I've just got to, oh look, 
I stored a load of stuff in here, so I need to clear that out and get all my quilts and mattresses back in here, all my cushions, and uh, tidy it all up and the pen will be ready. Because don't forget, I might have to live in this. Might be living in here. If we move out quick. Also, underneath here in the garage was a whole load of old paint pots, tools, all sorts. So we cleared all that out as well. And I even found an additional light for the garage. So we can actually see in here now. So I know it looks a little bit haphazard still, but I think I'm really getting there now. I think I just need to get some of this stuff shifted. Some of it can go to uh, the gym. Um, some of the tools can go to the gym. Uh, my brother took most of the paint. <laughs> Says he's decorating the room for me in case I come and stay. At least I have got a bed. If I don't buy it in my camper. Anyway, let's turn this light off. Look at the difference it made. Just walking around here in the dark. And I've also been packing up the stuff for my son. So these are all the pictures in there that my son wants to keep. It's all in one place. And a box of his stuff. And then this. So this, it looks, this is a normal double bed. But it also has on here my mattresses for that belong in the camper van. Plus the duvet from the bed, the duvet from the camper van, the blankets from the camper van, and all the cushions from the camper van. And then underneath the bed are loads of blankets and somewhere under there are the cushions from my camper van. So because, because um, I was doing viewings, I couldn't just leave the mattresses lying around. And I didn't want to leave them in the van over winter because I knew I had a leak and although it was covered, what if it leaks more? I didn't want everything getting spoiled. Even though my mattresses are marine style mattresses, I still didn't want to risk it. So I had to find somewhere to hide it all. So I just put it on top of this double bed and then covered it all. So what it, it just looks like I've got a very tall double bed. But it did the trick, it hid it all. But now it's time to dismantle all this and put it back in the van. So let's start clearing this. Oh, these are books. Now I need to work out what I'm going to do with all these books. There's still a garage full of them as well. And the TV controls. Oh, there's no cupboard there now to put them on. No. I sold that. There was a little cabinet here they belonged on and uh, that got sold anyway. So this belongs in my camper. All these belong in my camper. And then underneath here somewhere is the mattresses. Yep, there they are. They're not even the same size as the bed. How funny is that? I've got cushions shoved down the side. Oh, they're my son's them in this box. Right, let's just get all this downstairs. And there we have it. The van is all put back together again. And she's looking, her name is Dolores by the way, and she's looking all super comfy, dry and cosy and I'm really going to miss her. So I am taking her out next month because I'm going to go and see all my family, um, you know, spend some time with them. This is my family up north before I, before I'm gone. So I stay in the van there and I'm out of breath because it was a lot of work carrying, going up and down the stairs to get the duvets, the mattresses and the pillows, but they're all back in. And I had to climb under the bed to get some of them out. So I'll be using her then, but then um, I guess I'll have to put her up for sale and I'll be very sad about that because she's been such a lovely van and I've had such good times with her and she's so super comfy. And if I have to live in her for a bit, if my house sale goes through quicker, 
I actually don't mind. So all in all, it's been lovely to have the sunshine back here in the UK because it's meant that I could get a lot of the big jobs done, like get the garden sorted, get the van fixed and get it running again. But it's also been a super exhausting week and I'm very, very tired this weekend. Um, I've also been really busy with work, so, but progress. Uh, thank you for watching. I shall carry on. Most likely I need to go and list something on Vinted now. Thanks for watching. I might sleep here tonight actually. <laughs>